there's this very distinct pain point that I often work with my clients on, which is this feeling of being an outsider, this feeling of being on the outside because now you've had cancer and other people don't get it. And we don't say they don't get it in terms of they don't understand what it's like to go through chemo. They don't understand what it's like to have a mastectomy because of course they don't. How could anybody? But it goes even deeper than that. And it goes into this experience of, okay, I've, I've faced death, right? I've looked death in the face and I didn't like it. And I want to live my life. I don't want to die. I had this thing growing inside of me that could have taken my life. I have this fear that I have to manage my mind around that this thing might come back and take my life. And the other people, we're going to call them normies, the normies in my life don't understand that because on the outside, I look normal. I look healthy and they think I'm just the same as I was before, but I know I'm not. And for that reason, I feel very outcast, very outside of the circle. It's an important thing to remember and recognize that my brain is trying to help me survive, which it is, it is programmed to do right? To expend as little energy as possible and to keep me safe and to avoid pain. And so my brain is saying, oh, you're not safe. There's somewhere in there, even if you're consciously not aware of those thoughts, you're sick, you're different, you're on the outside, that's not safe. And so sitting with that, I think for a little bit, as I was reading these articles and reading this research, and I thought, you know, that is really, really interesting because it's this unconscious knowing that's creating and can create a very powerful emotion that we then start creating stories around and we run with, and then we get even more and more and more isolated. But I can understand, and this is the important part, I can understand what it's like to suffer, right? I can understand what it's like to hurt, I can understand what it's like to live a life that deviated from what you expected it to be. And so I want to talk about that because I think it's so important for us as survivors to realize that it's okay that everybody doesn't understand what you're going through. 